this is good, you know? Let's do it, right? Let's make this kitty purr. <laughs> I just came to me. Um, I'm married, as I said, I got married. And uh, it's funny because when I was engaged, I would tell everybody and they would clap. And then now I tell people I'm married and they don't clap. <laughs> You're just like, man, there goes another one, you know? It's like you're going off to war or something. they are like, she's gone. No, I, I tell you guys what, I was talking to married people, you know, just trying to, you know, I just want to see what I was getting myself into. And uh, you married people are the worst spokespeople for marriage. <laughs> Y'all act like you were tricked into it. <laughs> like it was an old Navy credit card. <laughs> Y'all were like, yeah, you know what? At first, I thought there would be perks. <laughs> but it has not panned out, so. Maybe for you, you know, hopefully you'll do good. Uh, I was talking to this lady at church, and I was asking her, like, you know, what's marriage been like for you? And she went, it's the hardest thing I've ever done. And that woman survived cancer. <laughs> That's a lot to say, you know? That's, and she was basically like, yeah, chemotherapy was hard. But if I have to listen to Greg slurp his coffee, <laughs> one more day. I'm just gonna let the cancer take me. So I don't know, she, uh, she's still alive, but. Greg kicked it, so, uh, <laughs> R.I.P. Greg. Anyway, listen, I, we, we went to premarital counseling uh, because we wanted to do it right, you know? We're like, we're gonna save on lawyer fees and we're gonna do this and then we're just gonna, we're gonna go to the end, you know? Till death do us part and if we die early, that's fine, you know? <laughs> Still joke. Um, and so we went and they were like asking us about our love life. And uh, I told them that mine was quality time, you know? Like I just wanna like watch the movie. I just wanna be next to him. And then we got married and I was like, I would like to change it. I would like to change it to acts of service. <laughs> you know? You know, I feel like we spend a lot of time together. Maybe you should go mow the yard. <laughs> and we live in an apartment, so we don't even have a yard. And I'm just like, you get out there and go find one, you know? <laughs> Come back when you're done. Our hot dates are him just like mowing lawn, and then I'm just like, do one more, you know? Then <laughs> I'll be ready. Um, <laughs> A lot of married people in the crowd, I said. <laughs> Working through some trauma up here, this is good. Uh, so I, I recently am not in school anymore. Uh, I've now graduated to sixth grade. Uh, <laughs> just kidding, full-fledged adult. But it was hard, you know, I remember I had to go to summer school because they were like, you know, the math is not taking in the winter. So 
may be the summer. <laughs> you know, we're desperate. We don't know. It's hotter, stickier. Maybe it'll stick, you know? It's like, we'll do anything. Um, and it did not, so. That's why I'm doing comedy, you know? I was like, I could do aerospace engineering, but seventh grade math got me. You, know? you just at career day and you're like, I do not know division, but do you want me to tell you a joke? Do that. Uh, so, yeah, I went to summer school. And I remember in summer school, my teacher one day, he went, Paula, you're like a cognitive hurricane. And I was like, all right, yeah. <laughs> you want to tell my mom that, you know? I'm like, does that mean I'm smart? And he goes, it just means you're a lot. <laughs> so I know, I was like, you can still tell my mom that. Uh, anything is good at this point. <laughs> She's just looking for some good sponsors. Uh, but anyway, you know, so I, I remember in school, do you guys remember like when you would give your school picture out to your classmates? Yeah. 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 That feels weird now, right? Because you're just giving them out to the only people that you see every day. <laughs> you're like, this is to remember me by. And they're like, are you dying? And you're like, no. Oh. <laughs> this is for the night time. <laughs> I don't know, just take it home for later. <laughs> like in your bed, whatever. <laughs> I remember, yeah, I just like went home with all these pictures. I just like put them up on my wall. My wall was just like full of kids' pictures. I looked like, it looked like the outside of a Walmart bathroom, you know? They're like, have you seen him? And you're like, I'll see him tomorrow. But then, I don't know, you just go to school the next day, and you'd be like, you'd be like, good night, Clifton, you know? Good night, Sarah. And then you just go to school the next day, and you'd be like, yo, Clifton, I remember you from last night. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Listen, you guys are doing so good. We're just moving right along, so I'm proud of you guys. <laughs> good. Um, Listen, I don't know about you guys. You guys have any, like, diseases? <laughs> You know? No? <laughs> We're all friends here, you know? Who's HIPAA? You know what I mean? Um, I have one. It's high blood pressure. <laughs> yeah, no, I got it from my dad. Uh, from my mom, I got like blonde hair and like kind of short. And then from my dad, I got high blood pressure and an inability to trust the government. <laughs> huh. Thank you, Dad. You know? But I remember, like, I remember when I found out I had high blood pressure, I was going to the doctor, like, because I was like, I, my heart was like, you know, going real fast. And I went to the doctor, and they were like, we think you might be having a cardiac event. And I was like, oh, you know, that sounds fun. <laughs> and they're like, no, it's bad. But I was like, event, that, you know, like event sounds like a good time, you know? Like your heart's like, hey, we're thinking of putting on an event. <laughs> And you're like, all right, you know, what kind of event? And they're like, probably a heart attack. Like, oh, 
I don't want to go to that. <laughs> All right, well, we already started planning it, so. <laughs> we already invited everybody. It'd be rude to cancel, you know. We're gonna have it tomorrow, so. It's kind of last minute. No, but my, my doctor was like, listen, you gotta eat heart health. And I don't know if you guys have, have to do that. But it basically just means you can't eat anything with any flavor. <laughs> you know? They're just like, you're, you're just like, you have salt, you better take that off, you know? Your heart's gonna pro have an event. Anyway. Um, and like, basically, I think of like water and potato. That's what you can eat. It's kind of like what they ate in the Great Depression. You know, like, I'm sure the Great Depression was tough, but their hearts were doing real good. So that's good for that. Have you guys ever gone whitewater rafting? Yeah. yeah. That seems like a, like a rite of passage for white people. Yeah. Seems like that happens a lot. I remember we went and it was like, hey, bring the whole family because it's good fun time and we're gonna like communicate and work together. And I was like, well then we'll come. <laughs> because my family fights in the McDonald's drive. <laughs> we cannot handle rushing water. We tried to move a hot tub together, and we didn't speak for a week. <laughs> we didn't even move the hot tub. <laughs> so, this is not gonna go good, you know? But we're like, we'll do it, you know? We're gonna try it. And we get there, and they give you helmets, and they're like, all right, put the helmet on. And I'll, we're like, all right, well, I thought this was water, so. How angry is this water? You know, like, is it like, you peed in me? <laughs> What's going on? You know, why? I was like, why do we need a helmet? And they were like, well, it's so that you don't, like, gonk your head on the rocks and then die. And I was like, all right, well, I don't know who you think we are, but we just got back from the fudge store. <laughs> This is a little bit too intense. <laughs> I think you have us confused for Red Bull athlete. <laughs> We're just a nice family from North Dakota, you know? We'd like to live. And so then they like get you like to the water. And I don't know if it's a requirement for the coat, like your guide to like have long braided hair and be super high. Uh, but ours was, you know? And he was real comfortable with it, you know? He was like, yeah, this is gonna be groovy. And you're like, well, that guy just told me that I had to wear this helmet or my head will fall off. So we have different definitions of groovy. <laughs> so, you know, we just, they're like, get in the boat. And the boat's just like, like a rubber raft. Like, you're like, is there any metal on this? I feel like there should be metal, you know? These are pointy rocks and you have uh, the material like an air mattress. You know, this is not going to go good. And they're like, but then also like, you know, you, you go into the boat and you're like, I'm all right, I'm going to sit inside the boat. And they're like, nah, you're going to sit on the side of the boat. And I was like, well, okay, back up. So <laughs> you're going to have to get this. So, so then back up. Okay. The guy was like, hey. Don't, if you fall out, don't worry. It happens all the time. And I was like, I wasn't worried about it until you said 
It happens all the time. Okay, fast forward. All right. So I go, that's why everyone's falling out. Because you're sitting on the side of the boat, you know? They're like, get your butt cheek in the water. That's how, and we're not even in the boat. We're just hanging on to the boat. And they're like, no, you stick your feet under this rubber. And then that way, like, you don't fall out. And you're like, well, how about we just sit inside the boat? I know you're super high, but like, I cannot be the first person to mention this. You know? Right, so I'm gonna probably do a little, one more little story and then probably dip out. You guys are doing great, so. Just, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, no, this is good. Listen, I, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes uh, I struggle with a little anxiety. You guys sometimes get a little anxiety? Yeah. Well, all right, all right, clap it up for anxiety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, I got something that'll help you. Uh, this worked really well for me during my anxiety. Uh, what I do, is when I get really nervous, I just tell everybody I have a gun. <laughs> well, listen, regardless of how you feel about guns, people treat you better. <laughs> when they think you have one, you know? <laughs> have you ever tried to get your friends to drive you to the airport? Now you can just have their car, you know? <laughs> They're like, you know what? I was gonna get a different one anyway, so. <laughs> Go for it, you know? I remember like, you have to try and borrow money from like your family or something. You don't have to pay them back. <laughs> They're happy to give it to you. So it works. Uh, but not like, well, so like if I'm going through a, like a dark out, you know, then I'll just be like, I'll be like, it's okay. I have a gun, you know, and it works. Uh, but it doesn't always work. Because one time I was on an airplane and <laughs> getting what I'm putting down. Yeah, and uh, so we're on an airplane and it started to get real turbulent, like all bumpy. And you know when it gets so bumpy that you just like look at the stranger next to you and you're like, do you want to hold hands? Yeah. You know, you're just like, I feel the need to tell you every secret. I can't die with these secrets. So it was getting that bumpy and I just out of habit, I just went, it's okay, I have a gun. Yeah, no, and uh, it made it more tense. It did not help. <laughs> One guy next to me, he was outraged. He was like, but they took mine, you know? <laughs> He's just like, what's your secret? <laughs> but then this girl, she starts crying, you know? And I was like, that's okay, she's nervous. We're all nervous, I know how to help her. So I just like leaned over and I was just like, it's okay. You have a gun, too. <laughs> so I drive a lot now. All right. Thank you guys so much.